The province is changing its guidelines on how long we should isolate if we have COVID symptoms. And this marks a significant shift in how BC treats this virus. Still, communication on this has been highly confusing. And tonight, health officials are apologizing for how they're getting that message out. CTV's Penny Daflos joins us. Penny, you know, there's a big sign here that health officials are shifting to endemic mode and that where we simply start living with the virus like, like the flu. Yeah, that is what it looks like right now. The provincial health officer has talked about the fact we're in a transition phase, but a massive change happened this week without anyone telling British Columbians. Instead, health authorities quietly updated their website with no verbal communication at all, so that if you have COVID symptoms but haven't been tested, you can go back to your work and your life essentially as soon as you feel like it. After testing and contact tracing collapsed last month due to skyrocketing infections. We are in a different race, in a different storm now. Health officials told people not to line up for tests if they were not high risk and assumed they have COVID and stay home. For five days if vaccinated, 10 days if not. Now health authority websites have quietly been updated, telling British Columbians with mild symptoms and no tests to stay home until you feel well enough to return to your regular activities. If you're, you're sick, stay home. And this isn't just true for COVID-19, it's true in general, but if you're sick, stay home. And once you're better, you can go back to life. Mm -hmm. That's um, right. All right. Leaving it up to each person can be confusing. If a slight fever goes away and someone is still coughing but feeling better, should they go back to work? What to do after testing positive has also changed several times in the last couple days. And that follows last minute extensions of public health orders around gyms and restaurants on Monday. There is uncertainty, there is anxiety, there is burnout, and then you have real gaps. Adding to the confusion is that we are getting contradictory guidance in BC uh, than what is coming from the federal health agency and the World Health Organization. Mistakes sometimes get made or we don't get the information out in the right possible way. The health minister downplayed the communication problems, but at a time when pandemic fatigue is clashing with big changes in the virus. What is that creates is a perfect storm where people start to tune out and where politicians and public health officials run the risk of losing the room. And, um, and that's not just something endemic to British Columbia, we're seeing that across the country. At all points in a crisis like this, government should be asking itself, how do we do better? How do we learn from our mistakes?